There are different facts. The diagnosis and treatment of cancer is becoming more and more complex due to molecular issues. Moreover, there is a the prevention and screening who makes a uh, overtreatment an issue uh, in surgery and in medical oncology. So specialization is uh, good because uh, it helps you to avoid uh, undertreatment or overtreatments in cancer. Yes, for us, I talk for my specialization, which is surgery. In surgery, volume can change absolutely the outcomes. Survivor, we have calculated that in specialized centers, surgery can give a, an increase of 15% of overall survival. And breast cancer patients may have an increase of two or three times their mortality that are not treated in, in high volume centers. So specialization isn't really in an issue. You have to keep in mind that talking about surgery, the surgeon oncologist is a professional who is skilled in oncology too, so he can choose the proper treatment according to biology and to the quality of life. This is an issue, that, uh, inequality, you're talking about inequality, and inequality is a, is a, is a matter of fact, because uh, uh, the level of cancer care depends on socio-economical issues and of the availability of center. We are calculated that we have a, a referral cancer center every five million people. So in this moment, distance and availability is an issue. Normally, people have to refer to a skilled center to start their treatment, but there is no contraindication to continue their standard treatment at home and to refer to centers for follow-up or changes in the plan. I think the answer to your question lies in the concept of networking. We can oblige people to travel to uh, get to the, cent to the right centers, but there is a networking between tiny centers and big centers uh, according to the spoke hub model. People can uh, pro take profit of traveling knowledge rather than travel themselves.